kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. What's up, guys? BD Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today, we're going to look at an old school home audio amplifier the NAD 2200 Power Envelope. Here you can see the basic design with only four LEDs on the front panel, overload protection, soft clipping in addition to the power LED. Unlike its sister amp, the Proton D1200 with fancy VU meters, the NAD offers a more simplistic design. All right, so here's the rear of the NAD 2200. You can see inputs for lab in and normal in. You can see the dual speaker outputs, the four binding posts there. Also a bridging mono stereo switch in addition to a soft clipping off on switch. Here you can see the 2200 was manufactured between January 1987 and February 1989. This tech slash marketing sheet explains more about the amplifier's design including the quote real world design. The 2200 is a very conservatively rated 100 watt per channel amplifier. It has an extraordinary 6 dB of dynamic headroom meaning it can produce more than four times its rated power during musical transients. Related to bridging, its rated continuous sine wave output is 400 watts, while its dynamic power output exceeds 1200 watts in 8 ohms and 1600 watts in the 4 ohms. Further explaining the amplifier's design, NAD explains music rarely requires an average power much greater than about 50 watts, even for very high volume levels, and very few loudspeakers can absorb continuous output of 500 watts or more for more than just a few seconds. Music is dynamic requiring high power only in bursts. Here are the technical specifications of the amplifier. Please feel free to pause the video and review them. I'll also post a link to this document in the video description below. Let's take a gander at the quote, Industry's Bible, the audio magazine annual equipment directory from 1988. NAD 2200PE specs are shown including the 27 and 5 8 pound weight and MSRP of 628 US dollars approximately 1300 US dollars in 2017 using the inflation calculator. Okay, enough technical talk. We'll see how this 30 plus year old amplifier does on the amp. Dino. All right, here's the NAD 2200 power amplifier for home. We're gonna try it at eight ohms. It's rated 100 watts per channel. We're gonna do one kilohertz up to 1% THD. Wow, check that out. 231 watts, 221 watts at eight ohms. That's more than double than rated, my friends. All right, and just as a comparison, we're gonna try 40 Hertz at eight ohms per channel. Let's see what we get. Wow, not much different. Still over 200 watts per channel for 100 watt amp. <laughs> Gotta love underrated. All right, now we'll try the dynamic test. Eight ohms per channel, both channels loaded. We're gonna do one kilohertz. This uh, simulates the IHF 202 specification. Alright, 374, 347, 8 ohms, 1 kilohertz, not bad at all. And again, for comparison, we'll do a 40 hertz burst test. This is simulating subwoofers, NAD 2200. Good power, 375 watts per channel at 8 ohms, so this will be a good subwoofer amp. Let's try 4 ohms. All right, now we're going to try a certified run, 4 ohms, 1 kilohertz for the NAD 2200. It doesn't say anywhere in the manual what it does um, at this ohm rating without it being a dynamic test. So if it looks like it's you know causing the amp to struggle, I'll stop the test soon. But let's see what it'll do, 4 ohms one kilohertz, up to 1% THD. All 
Good power, 345, 324, up to 1% THD at four ohms, very nice. All right, so here's a test I'm very interested to see. Dynamic burst test, IHF 202 certified at four ohms per channel. And this is a one kilohertz track, so let's see what it'll do. There we go. Right at 700 watts per channel. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, so here's a big daddy test for this amp. This is a home amp, two, amp, two ohms per channel for home amplifiers are not a standard load. Very few home amplifiers can handle that kind of load. We're gonna try the dynamic burst here at two ohms because this amp is said to handle it even though it is 30 years old. We're gonna try the IHF 202 certified one kilohertz test, two ohms, stereo one kilohertz. Let's see what she does. Yeah, boy. Getting that right up to a thousand watts. Look at that. Oh yes, 989, 944 at two ohms. NAD 2200 for the win. All right, so as promised, I've turned off the amp here. I'm gonna turn off soft clipping. Some people have said before, when you test these, don't have on soft clipping. So let's turn it off. Let's try a clipping test again. All right, so I've turned off the soft clipping circuitry. We're gonna try four ohms, one kilohertz, and see if we get any different than having the switch turn to the ohm position. So let's go. Okay, whoever told me that is absolutely correct. 414 watts versus three, I think it was 374, no, 342 before. So yes, absolutely turning the clipping to the off mode is the way to do it. It looks like if you leave the clipping on, then right when it gets to 1% THD, it kind of um, clamps down the amp. So yes, big, big difference there. 50 watts per channel, actually 60 watts per channel difference. Very nice. Now we've turned off the amplifier. Let's switch the bridging mode to mono and see how this bad boy performs as a single channel monster. I use the center speaker connections with a dual banana plug and eight gauge OFC Stinger Pro Series wire for optimal signal transfer. I also connect the 6000 series Stinger RCAs and signal as always is coming from my Alpine 9815 head unit. All right, so here we have the NAD bridged. Now the way the amp dyno works is it doesn't do the quote unquote uh, bridge mode uh, at eight ohms. So what we have to do is we have to run the stereo test and just load down one channel. So you'll notice channel two here will be the one with the measurement. So we're gonna try bridge at eight ohms, one kilohertz, up to 1% THD. This is a certified test. Let's see what it does. Wow, good power. 782 watts, one kilohertz, up to 1% THD, bridged at eight ohms. Very nice. All right, we have the amp bridge. We're gonna try the dynamic test at eight ohms. The first test here will be the IHF 202 certified. This is one kilohertz. Let's see what it does. Oh yes, my friends, check that out. 1,459 watts at eight ohms bridged on the NAD 2200. All right, this should be the test that shows the most output from this NAD 2200 amplifier. This is a four ohm dynamic burst test using the IHF 202 certified run which is one kilohertz. So let's see what it does. All 
Oh, right at it. I thought we were going to beat 1800 watts. 1799 watts at 4 ohms for the NAD 2200. Dynamic power NAD for the win. Here's the full dyno sheet for the NAD 2200 power amplifier. Pause the video to see all the results. As you can see, this vintage amplifier still performs better than a rated in all tests. Quite amazing if you ask me. After performing the test, I noticed the exterior of the amp was a little warm. I decided to pull out the Raytech IR temperature gun to check the temp. Here you can see I measured 113 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius on top just above the transformer. Next, I opened up the amp so you could see the 30 plus year old internals. Notice right off the bat, the huge storage capacitors and massive aluminum or aluminium for my UK viewers, <laughs> fan heat sinks for the transistors. Very interesting back to the capacitors. They are all four Nichicon branded 85 degrees Celsius and 10,000 microfarads. But notice two are larger than the other two. Hmm. Very interesting. Next up, I put the 2200 to the subwoofer test. First powering dual 8 ohm Rockford Fosgate power 12 inch subs with massive 4 inch voice coils so they don't flex as much as some 12 inch subs. And secondly, a 4 ohm Infinity Perfect 12 inch subwoofer. As you can see, this amp has ample power to feed these subs to their limits, and it does it with extreme precision. Vintage amps can still rock. Thank you all for watching this video and especially thanks to my Patreon subscribers. If you'd like to help out my channel for as little as $1 a month, check out the video description for links to my Patreon page. This is Big D Wiz, you know what time it is. I'm out of here!